You know what I think? No. I think we should never see each other again. You think so? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Look, so far everything is perfect. Or as close to perfect as you'd want it to be. But the more time we spend together, the more likely it is that things will get messy or weird, confused. Or even worse, boring. God forbid. God forbid. So look, what I'm proposing is I'll go make breakfast. You can put your clothes on. We'll eat, we'll chit chat, I'll kiss you goodbye. And then we just won't exchange phone numbers. Simple. What do you think? I can make breakfast. No, you can't. You're the guest. Hospitality is boundless. Are you listening to me? I'm listening. I'm serious. I know you are. So what do you think? Honestly? Please. I think perfection's overrated. You think so? I do. And you have an argument for that, or are you just... Isn't it kind of early in the morning? It's 1045. Yeah, but we... Okay. 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 What I think is... Because this could be perfect, you won't let it be anything else. And that's what perfection is, actually. It's, it's, it's a pretty word for kind of slash and burn approach to the world. It's either perfect or it has to go. You think that's how I approach the world? I don't know, I don't even know you. But I'm getting the feeling I'd like to. Why? So we can be like any other couple? So we can go through the same time-tested cycle of hope, disillusionment, and despair? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. And you're fine with that? I like it better than your preemptive strike theory. At least my way's neat. Is it? You think you can... what? Cut off the loose ends by snipping the thread before it starts to split? It doesn't work like that. You know, the untaken roads will still haunt you. I mean, they may only exist in your imagination, but believe me, that's... So I should what? Embrace the mess? Embrace the cliché? How about you just make breakfast? What am I, your servant? You see? It's already imperfect. We're already having an argument. I like this argument. Maybe you like all of them. I kind of doubt that. Me too. But maybe... Maybe we're the one couple who gets to be perfect forever until we die in each other's arms at the age of 120, surrounded by our great-great-grandchildren. You're moving awfully fast. Just trying to keep up. <sighs> See, I like you. I don't like liking you. This was supposed to be simple. Sorry. Can't make it simple if it's not. If you don't want to give me your number, fine. I'll look you up on Facebook. You don't know my last name. I'll check your mail before I leave. That's pretty stalkerish. You leave me no choice. What if I'm not on Facebook? You are. How do you know? Because if you weren't, you would have said that sooner. Damn it. I know. <laughs> Sorry. OK, you go make breakfast. Why me all of a sudden? Because I'm mad at you. And my punishment is I have to go make eggs. Yeah. This is gonna work out. Stop saying that! Sorry. Uh... I hate you. We are a miserable couple. It'll all end in tears. Is that better? Yes, thank you. <laughs> You're a funny girl. Yeah, I know. Relax. Lie back. I'll call you when breakfast is ready. You don't need me to show you where things are? It's the Manhattan kitchen. How many places could they be? You're awfully sarcastic, you know. You're very stubborn. You're smug. You're melodramatic. Your boxes are stupid. You look beautiful.
you look beautiful. Cut. Look at me in the movie.